Hi folks, Professor Amachi here. Wanted to get you through the free code camp. Build a survey form. Disclaimer, this is not going to be a pretty form. It's just functional, just designed to get you your 17 points and then get up and out on to the next one, okay? We'll do another video later maybe prettying up this form. But before we get started, be sure to smash those like and subscribe buttons if you find value in this. We go through a lot to, to bring this to you and we hope that you're having fun. This survey form, uh, I kind of already went through it and it looks something like uh, if we wanted to put this into context, uh, us, part-time as adjunct faculty normally have to submit a request every spring, summer, fall, winter, uh, any of those uh, terms there. And what we do is we submit a form basically. <laughs> so I'm just taking that same process that we do and aligning it to the free code camp here and then getting us our 17 points and then, then up on to the next. So sketched out, all of that kind of looks like this. Our form ID, uh, it's called survey form. So your entire form is like this. It is gonna have your name, your email and a number like the number of courses you could teach for California State for, for uh, part-timers. Uh, I believe you can only teach a maximum of two. So this is gonna be easy for us. Uh, minimum of one, maximum of two. <laughs> so that'll get you your points there. Uh, we do need drop downs. Uh, we do need some radio buttons. We need a text area, I guess, uh, freeform, write a whole bunch of text here in this box. And then we need a submit button. So that's it kind of in a nutshell. And since we have a little bit of context uh, aligned to the activity, uh, that's gonna give us our overall big picture. Let's get started here. Yeah, our survey form is right here. So select that, run your tests. Uh, it's gonna show you, you have a ways to go. So that's okay. Uh, your title with the ID title. Okay. Uh, let's make it H1, header one. Uh, the ID is gonna be title. And uh, the text that we're gonna hear Faculty schedule request. Short explanation with the ID description and in a pea size text. So we'll make it a paragraph, we'll make it ID description. Fill in details below to complete your request. Okay, and then that overall form is going to be this form ID is going to be survey form. Okay, so within all of this here, within between six and seven, we're just going to be inserting elements for our form. Let's see if we're on the right track. Okay, run tests. Yep, we're on track. We got uh, got picked up another three points here. <laughs> that was probably from one, two, and three. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see. We save that and do reload here. Fill in the deal. Okay, yeah. Let's build our format here. So let's do inside the element. Uh, you're gonna need to see name and then all through here to uh, you want to see like the IDs of name label, email label, number label. Uh, they, it looks like 
the project purposely did that to have you go back. <laughs> Why don't we just kill two birds with one stone? Let's do label. Uh, this is going to be name label. Okay, label four, name. And with our label there, we are going to need a input type. Input type is going to be text. Okay, type is text. ID is going to be name. And how about we enter a placeholder here uh, so that we see within that field, uh, enter your name. <laughs> and how about we make this required? Okay, so we save that. We do reload here. Uh, enter name. And that allows us to drop in some text here. So drop in a break there. The next one is going to be for email. That's going to be label. ID is going to be email label. OK, that's going to be for email. This is going to be email. You know, for this name here, why don't we uh, give it that text there? OK, so after the label, we are going to need input. OK, input is going to be email. Yeah, good. So type is email. Name is going to be email. Let's see, ID. How about we do email label? OK. Oh, we already got it there. So let's do okay, email label. Let's drop in a placeholder of name at pasadena.edu. And let's make it a required field. Place in a BR there. OK, save, reload here. Yeah, cool. So we got name, enter name, email. And there you got your placeholder there. Enter a number in a field with the ID number. Well, really easy. It's either going to be min 1, uh, max 2, because uh, maximum load for us is two two courses. So let's just drop that in then. Label, uh, number label. And number of you would like to teach. Label, fourth number. And input would be Input type would be number. Okay, so type is number, name, number, ID, placeholder, and then give it min and make it required. Reload up here. This preview doesn't work that well. So if we come out to another browser here, we should be able, yeah. So we can now select one or two. OK, drop downs. Uh, drop downs, um, you can have as many as you want. Uh, in our case, just to make things easier, Let's just select two divisions, uh, CIS and BIT. So let's do this here. So it's BR, insert a break. Label, 
select select division. Uh, the ID we can give it. our select from our drop down. Okay, and I think we can get away with just just the drop down there. So within that we're going to have two options. Option CIS and option uh, values BIT. And then we'll end that select there. Okay, save there. Let's go ahead and reload. Cool, we can select BIT or CIS. Let's keep that going. We need some radio buttons now. So those radio buttons, uh, we could turn those into, uh, when would you like to teach? Uh, morning, afternoon, or evening? Could do it that way. Okay, label uh, for TOD. <laughs> okay, then ID, uh, TOD. Time of day, it's got an idea here. Let's make this bold. Okay, let's emit wrap with abbreviation. Let's make it bold. Okay, so our input type. So we're going to need an input, then we're going to need a label right after. So let's do our first one. It's a radio ID, TOD, value, um, morning. Label for TOD, 8 a.m. through 11.59 a.m. Can do the same thing again. So let's work on our label. Okay, and last one. Then break times two. It should be okay. All right, save, reload. Okay, time of day. Now I could make these checkboxes, right? Because uh, um, maybe somebody is opening to uh, teaching all three. But um, for the interest of this project, I just wanted to hit those, uh, hit those requirements. You could change this up later. Checkboxes. Online, face-to-face, -face, or hybrid. So the same kind of thing. Instead of making them uh, radio buttons, you make them checkboxes. So it's going to follow that same type of format here. Input is checkbox. ID checkbox. And the value is online. Okay, and before we do that, how about we do label for, label for mode, and then we'll uh, put the text right out there. That should be okay. Our input there. How about we do a label for checkbox and this one's gonna be labeled as online. Okay, let's just see how that is gonna look. Right, so there is our checkbox there for a mode. It's gonna be online. Let's do the next for in-person face-to-face. Okay, input check 
checkbox, name is mode, ID is checkbox there, value FTF, label, and let's see if we could do in-person FTF, face to face. Okay, so this labels for checkbox. Save, let's see what it looks like out here. Yep, so there's our in-person face-to-face. And last one. Cool, so we got online, in-person, or hybrid, or any combination. Good, good. So let's come out here and text area. So the text area and the submit button. Couple of breaks in there, let's do label okay so that label is for text area okay let's throw in a break right there and then let's give text area text area name ID text area, columns, yeah, 40 is fine. Rows, 10, that should be okay. Break times two, go ahead and save that, come out here. Hey, cool, here's the text box. All right, and finally, we're going to do submit. So let's do input ID is going to be submit. Okay, type is submit. And value. It's going to be reload this. And here's the uh, place request. Or you could just call it submit. See, look, and that's how it does it. So why don't we grab all of this? So here's our survey form here. So underneath survey form is all this. Okay, run tests, tests 14 of 17. Okay, inside the form element, required to enter an email in a field with ID email. Then we'll see a validation, validation error. required to enter okay, let's try this I don't think it's going to make much of a difference, but just try it anyway. Just make it email all the way across here. Oh. All right. <laughs> That's the way to do it then. Okay. It was looking for ID email. Okay. Oh, that's right. If you want to get your points, Copy that URL, 
pasted in the solution there, say I've completed the challenge and congratulations, you are done. Okay, submit, go to the next challenge. Alrighty, so that is how to get your 17 points out of this. Hope you enjoyed this and we will see you on the next one.